today's video is regarding uh, assignment for the cycle june 2023 uh, subject is decision science this is for all the semester uh, all the streams of semester 2 okay the first question is bad gums may mean a bad mood researcher discovered that 85 percentage of the people who suffered bad mood had a periodontal disease an inflammation of gums only 29 percent of the healthy people have this disease Suppose that in certain community, bad moods are quite rare, occurring with only 10% um, probabilities. Someone has a periodontal, uh, sorry, periodontal disease. What is the probability that he or she will have a bad mood? So here our uh, uh, requirement is to draw a tree diagram. Let us move on and uh, not to do it in the handwritten tree diagram now move on to our um, book what we can get it in chapter 4.3 a little uh, information of uh, tree diagram here is the structure of probability experiments events so you can write up a little bit of uh, uh, information and uh, this is a uh, sample space how it has to be and um, you can write up a little more information about like uh, probabilities, possibilities, base theorem and uh, I'll straight away take you because uh, the here uh, since it is a problem theory portion can be little lesser and focus more on this problem. Moving on to page 120. So this is one of the activity which is a little closer to what we have uh, in our question. So this activity can be a little guidance for you to go ahead and uh, solve the problem. And this is what is the tree diagram looks like a similar one and uh, uh, find out the solution. So you have you have to input the similar data in the ticket diagram and then select what is the appropriate answer for this. I'm going to uh, do a part two of decision science where I will try to help you guys how to draw the tree diagram in uh, Excel or a word format. It's a very simple one and please don't go with the handwriting a diagram. Moving on to question two. Here, uh, using MS Excel, show the regression model. Consider Instagram uh, follower as independent variable and the number of posts per day as in depend, uh, sorry, independent variable, Instagram followers as a dependent variable. Write the interpretation of the Excel table. Write the conclusion on the fitting of your model also. So you have a data. I'm not putting up data here. Uh, let us go with the um little information where we can write a theory from book 7.1 correlation introduction you can write it and uh, uh, these are the little models for you then we have uh, next one is seven point three simple regression analysis then uh, after that we can go to problem 7.1 okay so this is a little closer i'm not telling it is exactly the same one where we can have a little uh, um, information like which variable is independent and which variable is dependent so similarly we can try to create a graph here then uh, I, I think uh, these portions i think we don't have to worry that much then uh, i'll take you to the excel form of output yeah interpreting the output when you're putting up the prof uh, information in the excel of excel uh, calculations then you will be getting this kind of uh, results there you have to interpret the outcome okay so interpretation of outcome also is been asked for you in this question okay 
then moving on to question 3a thousand light bulbs with a mean life of 120 days per installed in uh, are installed in a new factory and the length of life is normally distributed with standard deviation of 20 days if it is decided to replace all the bulbs together what interval should be allowed between replacements of not more than 10 percent should expire before replacement so here it has been particularly mentioned you are not supposed to use excel or any other software to write this answer so guys uh, uh, here be very careful write down each and every step of this calculation so that uh, uh, you will be getting more score uh, rather just directly putting it answer so certain uh, formulas are going to give you a straight away answer for this data input so please don't do it maybe uh, it's better to write down step by step is more uh, useful and beneficial so we'll go ahead with finding 3a uh, 3.1 chapter number 3.1 134 measurement of central tendency on group data sorry i think i did not mention the page number here just a moment 3.1 so i will go ahead straight away with yeah 3.1 yeah 3.1 page number 58 let me just add it okay so here we have measurements of central tendency group data where you can try to find a uh, right a little more information about median mode and uh, um, average average in mean you can find out here how it is there the simple calculation part of it uh, and we have a problem 4.6.2 34 i hope i will reach to the straight away problem problem 4.6 yeah so this is uh one of the problem which is little close by you can have a little reference not exact one so uh then demonstration problem we also have it like 3.4 3.5 page number 75 and 76 yeah so this is another problem which is little close by you can refer and get an influence of similar one kind of a problem but it is not the exact one okay so keep in mind you you cannot just uh, change the data in this there's a little difference in the problem so i'll try to give you solution in a part two for this also i mean uh, how to approach this problem not the answers then um, part b is calculate the average age of migrants for both the categories of gender and write your interpretation so here uh, we have to find out an average uh, age uh, again i have not taken the data here i'll try to give you a little uh, information where you can write down the um, theory part of it page number 61 So this is what is mean, uh, simple mean you can identify here. Then um, demonstration problem 3.1 page number 62. This is the one. This is the one. Okay. So thank you so much guys. And uh, if you have any clarification or you want me to do this guidance for any of the other assignments. So please share your assignment question paper on my email ID. And for any clarification, you can connect me on this. Thank you so much.